If you've ever seen a baby out in the wild, you've probably noticed something. They're incredibly weak and unusually clumsy. And it's no secret, but they're not very smart. So today, I'm gonna make a weaponized tactical assault stroller to make sure we can keep our helpless little humans safe. It's burning. <laughs> but first, I needed a stroller. Thankfully, I was able to uh, find this one at the park. If there's no weapons, you can kind of just grab them and run. And I just knew that your regular old stun gun or, or pepper spray just wasn't enough to stop these creeps. So I'll prove it. First, I did it the easy way with a little bit of a bump and run here. My technique was sloppy, oh, no! but effective. She had no chance. Then I wanted to make it hard on myself and see if I could even unbuckle the baby before she could get me with a stun gun. And so if stun guns don't work, what about pepper spray? Well, they thought of that too. These aren't glasses. This is safety eyewear. And I've never been pepper sprayed before, but you know, I was confident. <laughs> See this? See that? Nothing, I don't feel a, thing, a single thing. I'm good. It's still not, oh my God, there it is. <laughs> this is getting worse. Until I wasn't. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Stop it! <laughs> to be fair, it took a good 30 seconds to kick in. Good dab. Uh, no, it says don't dab. Uh, it did say don't dab. More milk. I think we need to go full rinse. Yeah, we need to rinse this out. After the pepper spray and all that milk, I was more blind than a bat leaving a bukkake. <laughs> what is that? It's an eyewash. Oh my god. So I think you just got a dunk. Get sponsored by Don. <laughs> that was a piece of cake. <laughs> Let me tell you. So at this point, it was clear I needed something with a bit more firepower. So, like any good YouTuber, I went on YouTube and just ripped off this guy's design. First, I emptied this small fire extinguisher, then drilled a half an inch hole in the back. Next, with a yo yo string, I ran the tire valve through the hole. Now, you can use any old bike pump to pressurize it. And at 100 PSI, I was spraying further than a squirtle at a strip club. Next, I used a copper faucet supply tube and a wick to make the pilot light. We'll use powdered coffee creamer as our fuel, and then make sure to soak that wick in some lighter fluid to make sure we got a good, strong flame. Now I just needed to figure out how I was going to attach it to the stroller. First I thought we could put the baby in charge and tuck the flamethrower in next to him until I remember just how weak and stupid they are. Instead I decided it would be best to put it in the back here and then hide the trigger in this little compartment. Sheesh, that piece was hanging on like a desperate dingleberry. Shittiest workmanship of all time. Then I got this threaded adapter thingy and this hose to route the fuel to the front. This fucking hose is about a foot or more too long. Sorry, I returned that hose for the shorter but equally girthy white hose. And then routed that one up to the cup holder. Oh, shit. Sorry. Nice. Pay no mind to the white powder on the floor here. Uh, every now and then I'd shoot some blanks. You can probably hear the hissing there. Unfortunately, my flamethrower has a bit of performance anxiety and sometimes can't hold pressure. 
and this is where I'm going to ask you to please consider liking the video and subscribing. If nothing else, just do it out of pity for me. But if I'm dumb enough to shoot flamethrowers in my garage, there's no way I'm smart enough to really build this channel. Next, I wanted to see what kind of force this stun gun could actually put out. I haven't been shocked before. All right. I don't, I don't want to do this. Just do it. Okay. Just really quick. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> didn't exactly put me on my ass, but it didn't feel great either. But I think it'll do the trick if they don't see it coming. So I took the stun gun apart, and it's actually really simple. But I did need to learn how to solder to extend some of these wires and make it work. Could you imagine if you touch your penis with one of those things? Man, that would suck. So with the help of even more hot glue and then a shitload of electrical tape, I managed to integrate it into the handle oh no. so that if somebody goes to push it, it'll activate. Next, I ran the hot wires through the insulated handle and then had each of the exposed wire ends poke out ever so slightly so that they could arc on top of where somebody's hand would go. Yes! Alright. I'm gonna be assailing, I'm coming in. Alright. Uh, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I'm just gonna push the stroller. Alright. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright. Ah, three, two. Fuck. I don't know how this works. Maybe my hands were sweaty. Maybe the, the wires were closer, but that shit hurt. That didn't feel good at all. I don't want to mess around with this thing. I'm telling you. Uncle Cletus here. And today we're bringing you Lockheed Martin's first in class tactical assault stroke. We at Lockheed Martin have been defending this great nation for decades. And now it's time we take that same military grade defense system and protect our babies here on American soil. Are you tired of local pedophiles trying to bump you and run away with your child? Well, not anymore. With our patented taser laced handle, it'll be a thing of the past. Just flip her on and she's ready to go. You'll send damn near 150,000 volts through that son of a bitch. Mm. Oh, oh. Plus, our stage 5 suspension system will let you roll over even the largest logs with ease. Hell, I heard Sharon tows their baby behind their Jeep when they go off-roading, and it works just fine. I mean, it's incredible, really. We even got a built-in shave for those pasty-ass white babies. And on the third day, our sweet lord said, let there be light. Now if anyone tries to step to your baby, you can burn them quicker than a squirrel on a skillet. And it's so easy to use your Grammy could do it. One, remove the canister. Two, fill it with your favorite powdered creamer on hand. Three, tighten that canister back on there. Four, pump her up to about 100 PSI. Five, remove the wick and douse it with lighter fluid. Six, insert the wick back from whence it came. Seven, light that bitch up and you're ready to roll. I know, it's just unbelievable how easy it is. Seven quick steps. And what's great is, let's say little Johnny's getting all antsy and stuff, the flame is, is basically out of reach. I mean, he's really got to stretch for it if he wants to catch those little paws on fire. And when you think about it, human hands are a lot less flammable 
than this little stuffed bear's hands. And between you and me, this is one of the most safe flames that there is on the market. It's really mostly just there for the flamethrower. But outside of that, it's, it's not very flammable. Then, when you're ready to party, you can flip open this waterproof compartment and fire away. Warning, do not be a dumbass and fire it in your own damn garage like me. <laughs> it smells like fucking marshmallows. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now imagine you're in a park and a Whoa. pedophile spots your little boy. Now you can burn him so bad he'll think he died and went to hell already. <laughs> Order now and we'll throw in a bottle of our baby went boom boom spray. Cause nobody wants a poopy baby. Why is it on fire? Oh shit. <laughs> thanks for watching, and thanks for helping keep our stupid, clumsy, slow, weak babies safe from all those horrifying individuals out there. What the fuck? It's like flame proof cardboard. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs>